Well, happy Thursday, everyone. Hurricane Milton now on the ocean in the ocean. Yet again, the Atlantic Ocean as it is moving away from Florida, still giving a little bit of wind and rain on the backside, but moving further and further away from land, away from the United States. In fact, this will continue to dissipate or die out in the coming days as it moves away from us. As we take a look at the impacts here from Wilmington all the way down to Hilton Head, look at that. We've got some high seas and some breezy to windy conditions at times on the coast, but that is it. Not much at all in the way of rainfall locally across the upstate western North Carolina, northeast Georgia. We got clear, dry conditions. It's sunny. It's blustery at times, a little breezy. Some of those gusts 20, 25 miles per hour. These winds will ever so slowly die down as we head into tonight. And that's a good thing because it's going to be colder tonight and tomorrow morning than it was. So expect another cool down overnight. We'll awaken to clear, cold conditions as we go into the afternoon tomorrow and Friday. Look at that. I mean, our future radar is moving. Moving, but nothing is changing because our sky conditions are going to be so clear. So clear skies over the next couple of days with a slight warming trend. It'll be a very quick warm up as we go into Saturday and Sunday going back into the upper 70s. A couple of us in the 80s. Here comes Columbus Day, a cold front. Look at that. It's going to pull down some Arctic air from Canada and that is going to produce the coldest air so far this season starting Monday night into Tuesday and will linger through next week. By the way, not only is it going to be colder air, it's going to be drier air. So no chance for rain for a long, long time. Temperatures in the low 70s below the seasonal average for the next couple of days, mid to upper 70s, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Columbus Day. Then colder air arrives, dropping into the 40s and 50s for overnight lows. We'll be in the 30s and 40s for overnight lows across the mountains with the first frost likely in western North Carolina by the middle part of next week.